Welcome back to P2 Arrow and the Rans S21 build project. It's been an exciting time in the shop over the last couple weeks. I've rearranged things in the garage a bit to allow me to work on the firewall forward without having to have the big door open. Unfortunately, I've been bit by the GoPro failures plaguing everyone here lately. It managed to corrupt the card and I lost some footage, so this video isn't going to be as interesting as I was hoping for. I'll do my best to catch you up on what I've done. So I'm sure my choice of power plant will be unpopular for a few of the most old school aviators out there, but do your best to keep an open mind. Experimental is all about allowing the progression of technology in general aviation, but if nobody ever does it, we'll be running overpriced VW engines forever. What you see here is a 2021 Yamaha 998 turbo engine. It's a three cylinder engine found in the Sidewinder sled along with an Arctic Cat model as well. It's conservatively advertised at 180 horsepower up to 10,000 feet. I'm sure by now you've seen the guys running the Apexes and the Epex engines from Edge. This installation will be very similar. It's water cooled and will run an intercooler similar to a Rotax 915 installation. And although I don't have the final weight, I suspect it'll be close to those 914 and 915 engines. There are a few guys out there willing to build mounts for these engines already, depending on the airframe of course. I decided I'd rather maintain control over every aspect, that way I have the freedom to build a mount around my installation, rather than build around a mount. After designing a few brackets, I had them cut at send cut send out of 8th inch 4130 plate. All the steel used in the mount is 4130 that I got from Wix. I will be running a Skytrax gearbox, and Teal is cool enough to offer a print file for the flange locator you see on the front of the engine. I've elected to locate this engine with the prop flange matching the Titan install. Keep in mind that the Titan uses a spacer up front, so my engine center mass will be further forward than those. My goal is to gain a bit of the baggage capacity lost on the factory Rotax installs. I'm not 100% sure on where I'll locate the turbo yet, but these are a few of the options that I've been playing around with. I started the whole process with leveling out the fuselage and the engine stand. I set the prop flange location with a laser shining back down every bulkhead and onto the prop flange. The factory sets the thrust line at 90 degrees to the firewall vertically and 1 degree right, and I see no reason to change that so I just matched it. I went through several iterations of tubing layouts using masking tape and then began cutting and coping tubing. I just used a cheap Harbor Freight notcher with some good quality hole saws and I had no issue getting accurate cuts. Let me know if you're as excited as I am to see this power plant setup come together. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next update video.